Yeah, what up, y'all? Pull up, pull up, pull up. <clears throat> Out here on the block. Yes, sir. Big genius. Flow general. Yes, sir. i to tell y'all a story. What happened last night? I done ran into my ex from 10 years ago, man. The people's champ, man. I wasn't the people's champ last night, man. Ran into my ex. Oh, I got crust in my eye. Now I try to wash my face. Hold on, y'all. Let me get right, man. The people sent got crust in. Oh, all right. Greetings from Italy. Shout out to Italy, man. Shout out. Oh, that remind me of my side chick, Little Italy. Oh. She in New Orleans with all that yummy gumbo. In her. No, not the one from Vegas. No, 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 not that one. From 10 years ago. I'm going to post up 30 second photo shoot. She probably going to get real mad. Why the fuck did you post that on your page? I told her I'm a photographer now. I do 30 second photo shoots. All right, so I'm going to get Rico. I'm in Italy. We, I'm going to get y'all the rundown, man. If anybody else coming here, they came. They showed up too damn late. So I'm at the rabbit hole last night on the patio, smoking a mild, a black and wild. It's a black and mild if you're mortal. Smoking a black and wild. Minding my damn business. And this little short little chick walks in with her friends. And I was like, damn, she looked just like my ex. It was her, y'all. I stood there and I waited for her to like look at me and she didn't. So she go inside and I figure she just running out the front because she seen me. <clears throat> Smoking a black and wild. Yes, sir. Hood News headquarters. Yes, sir. So I go inside and I give me a shot. <clears throat> and this brunette starts yelling at me. Some baddie I met at St. Vitus like, like two months ago starts yelling at me. I'm like, oh, hey, yo, hey. And I was like, I don't know where I met you. I don't remember you. She's like from St. Vitus. I'm like, oh, the girl that was cozy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I ran into her. Buy her a shot. We talk. She's like, I might come out to the patio and hit your black and wild. I was like, black and wild. Anywho, my ex sees us like doing a high five, holding hands. She starts dancing again. I was like, she's seen that. The Cozy Jane, yes, yes. She had the cozy little boots, that little brown little cozy jacket type. Looked like a teddy bear. So my ex is dancing. I'm trying to leave the bar and shit, and there's a line of people coming through. So I got to, like, stop and just admire her dancing. My life is really a movie with no pyrotechnics, bro. Like, why, Lord, did you send her here? Now, the facts y'all need to know. Cause last night was her birthday, March 9th. Jealousy after 10 years is the same. Shorty won't ever forget Fluke. So I told her, I'm Fluke Wayne now. And she was like, that's lame. <laughs> I was like, okay, she she don't know I'm up 15 million on YouTube. Okay, all right. She don't know about the clout. Okay, that's fine. So she was like, did you ever get the Drake feature? I was like, nah. She's like, play one of your songs. I was like, have you listened to any of my music? She's like, I haven't listened to your music at all. And I was like, I kind of figured you. She's not looking at my catalog. She don't know Left My Ex in Vegas exists. <laughs> so her and her friends, man, they, they walk out the back. I got something on my lip, man. I need some clear cell. Hold on, y'all. Nigga needs some clear cell. <clears throat> Anyways, she's walking out the back of the rabbit hole. And I was like, Courtney, Courtney. And she, she didn't really look back. She kept walking. And so I ran out there. I said, Courtney, I just want to say happy birthday. Her birthday is the anniversary of Biggie's death. March 9th is the day Biggie died. I should have known she was a bad omen when I met her. But my brother was like... Bro, you should have married that girl, bro. I was like, shit. 
I would have ruined her life, man. She would have been pregnant, stuck in Tulsa with me as her baby daddy. I would have been on child support working in Marriott, all these things. All right, so I'm going to make a long story short. She starts flaming my khakis. Her and her friend is like, why are you wearing khakis? Did you just get off work? And I'm like, nah, I don't work weekends. And she was like, I told her friends I work at Marriott. And my ex was like, shout out to Brooklyn. though. Yeah, Brooklyn to Gumbia. That's gumbo. If I ever bag Brooklyn to Gumbia, I will happily take that child support. Happily. Hopefully I get more child support because we keep having babies. The relationship don't work. Shout out to Gumbo. All right. So they roasted my khakis. I tell her friends I work at Marriott. And my ex is like, he's still doing the same shit he was doing when we dated. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you got me. You got me. Held it down on the job for 10 years. Apparently that's lame. So, you know, I'm fighting my demons, running into my ex and shit. She was still short, so I told her she grew half, half an inch. She definitely grew like half an inch because she was wearing Vans, but. Rico, why is my life a nightmare, bro? Why is my life a nightmare, Rico? Just tell me that. Madam Zeroni. Madam Zeroni, why is my life a nightmare? I, I I carried you over the mountain, Madam Zerone. So being consistent with a job is lame, bro. She, I told her I was fluke Wayne now. She said, that's lame. And so I explained to her and her friends, man, I'm trying to wake up, man. I just, I like rolled out of bed. And I'm like, do I post her 30 second photo shoot on my page? Like, uh, she probably going to be like, take that shit down. Anywho, so she's roasting me for still working at the Marriott. She said my ex is still doing the same shit he was doing when we dated. I was like, damn. So I was like, y'all want a 30 second photo shoot? And she's like, no. And her friends was like, girl, let's let's get up. Yeah, you walked into me running into my ex last night, uh, Madam Zeroni. Unfortunately, her short ass was popping out for her birthday and you know i ain't gonna let nobody just walk past without saying happy birthday come on man i'm still a gentleman oh my god i'm still processing this y'all uh okay okay so her friends is like girl let's get a, a photo shoot he gonna do a photo shoot for you, man. so we get the photo shoot booming all right photo shoot is going dummy I'm getting the angles. So my ex start flipping the camera off, talking about, fuck my lame-ass ex. Fuck my lame-ass ex. I was like, you know, I'm the lame-ass ex. Hey, was, <laughs> that's me. She probably going to be very enraged if I post her photo shoots. But you know what? <laughs> hood news is going to hood news. So she only gave me her flower page on Instagram. Yeah, bro, she got a line. She only gave me her flower page, not her main page. I understand that because I'm definitely sliding in some DMs immediately. And I, I asked her to get some tacos. So we're going to see if I get left on scene or am I getting tacos with my ex today? Probably getting tacos alone and drinking alone. And this is like irritating me. The fuck. I'm like, pull the skin off the... All right. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I just woke up. My ex was calling me lame and roasted me for wearing khakis last night. And she's hella short. All right, Rico, I appreciate you pulling up, man. Thank you. Let me vent. So yeah, she was she was flaming my ass, man. Her and her friends was flipping me off. The photo shoot turned out to be really, really solid. Uh it's a vibe. <laughs> 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 
Why is my life a nightmare? Mm-mm-mm. Just out here living a nightmare. The friend or the ex? They was both flipping me off, actually. Her friend was flipping me off. She said, the whole, like, half the photo shoot, she was like, fuck my lame-ass ex. She don't realize I'm Fluke Wayne doing 15 million views on YouTube. But, you know, that's okay. She don't know about the clout. She don't know Alicia Lehman be looking at my story and shit. She don't know. Ran into my ex from 10 years ago. I kind of had an anxiety attack and started coughing like really, really bad. <clears throat> but I didn't die. So I told her happy birthday when she left the bar. And If she ever listens to Nothing Was The Same by Drake, she's thinking of me. Even if she doesn't know it. She just wanted to run over my hood like an 18-wheel. I need to listen to Connect by Drake. That's why I'm, I'm listening to Nothing Was The Same when I get off this live. Uh, she probably going to leave me on scene. I sent her all the photos, and she left me on scene when I sent all the photos. Uh, so I messaged her just now. You still follow her Spotify? Uh, she's not a musician. Uh, she's not a musician. She's more of an artist and a florist now. She was always an artist. She was the creative one. Mm. Yep, I cussed her little ass out right here. Hold on. Right on that block is where it all ended. Right there. I cussed her little mean ass out one day. Back in the day, you used to be able to see what your friends are listening to. Uh, she told me she is not listening to any of my music. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's understandable. You don't want to hear me talk about the bitches I lost, including you. You don't want to hear that. I lost a lot of baddies in the last 10 years, man. A lot of potential wives. But I like to think I'm more of like a Batman. I'm saving the city. I couldn't, I couldn't impregnate these women, or marry them. Would have ruined their life. I would have been chasing a rap dream, chasing babies. No, no, it ain't. No, fuck no. Team, no babies. I don't want none on Earth at all. On Jupiter, I don't want none. I don't want to wake up to Man Man screaming because he stepped on a needle or some shit. No. <sighs> She's probably going to leave me on scene. I said, do you want to get some tacos? Can we get some tacos? I think is what I said. I should have came more player than that. We going to Ruth's Chris. I already have a reservation for seven. Yeah, no, nah, I can't be doing that either. Huh? Madam Zeroni, what, what the fuck do I do? Do I just wait for her to leave me on scene and... I'm going to post the 30 second photo shoot today and I'm going to shout out her flower page. That's what I'll do. I'll support her local business. But I'm trying to support a different type of business. Business of her guts. I'm trying to support her guts. Ten years later, just running to her on her birthday. I don't think that changed anything. I don't I, she was still saying fuck my lame ass ex uh, a lot last night. Like a lot. Like y'all don't get it. I was just minding my business. Unless you just want to be in pain. Forget about her. Unless you want to be in pain. Pain from women is what fuels my music. Uh, unfortunately, my ex-mutant gene uh, is that I will never truly find love. 
But the pain from this uh, lack of love is what propels my musical catalog. If I fell in love and start making happy music about weddings and shit, they they treat me like Chance the Rapper. We don't want to hear that shit. Go back to rapping about throw villains. The industry will blackball me again. I'm already blackballed by it. But yeah, so my ex she asked me if I if I got the Drake feature, uh, and I I didn't. That was kind of weird last night. It was it was kind of weird. She roasted my khakis. She roasted the fact that I'm still at the same job. I mean, ten years of like. That's consistent. It's great for my resume. I mean, I didn't tell her I have a job interview next week, making twelve hundred a week. That would be way more than I make at Marriott's broke ass. Fuck the Marriott. If y'all ever think about staying at a Marriott, don't stay at the one I work at. Lord, AC fucked up, heat fucked up. Nigga, I'm in that bitch fucked up because I ain't getting paid enough. Mm-hmm. <sighs> she said, what job is this? Oh, I'm doing a bread delivery. Deliver Takis. Yeah, I want to make 1200 a week too. So I'm about to do this job interview. That means I can move away from these shitty ass apartments. See, these apartments look amazing, but they suck more than my ex. And she was a Scorpio, so she sucked a lot. Anyways. Yeah, so new job on the way. I'm going to try to work both jobs so I can use my Marriott discount. Might go to Memphis for the weekend. I don't know. Five hours? Might go to Memphis or something. All right. Well, I'm going to tap back in with y'all um, and let y'all know if I was left on scene or if I got the tacos with my ex from 10 years ago. She's still short and mean as fuck. I, don't, I guess mean women are drawn to my energy for some. Like wasp. I don't know. My love life is a nightmare, bro. Alright, player. Deuces. I got 2% on this phone. All right, y'all, we're going to get off the live. Left my ex in Vegas is breakup song of the century. Uh, some reason my ex is back in Tulsa on Earth. Letting me know I'm lame as fuck and Fluke Wayne is lame. is a lame name. Pretty catchy, honestly. A fluke Wayne. It's a pretty player, if you ask me. Fluke. <laughs> People call me Fluke now. Wow. Hood news. 